when the Uber Lyft dialogue was taking place, it was clear that Uber and Lyft were not going to be making, at least at that time, a contribution to our disabled community by providing service to our disabled community. And we said, okay, we get that, but we think you can make a contribution. And we would have in our own bill put on a surcharge that actually Uber and Lyft had agreed to. So when the state decided to step into that mix, we said, okay, we need the state to do the same. That is provide a fund for the disabled community and for transportation services in our county that they themselves may not be meeting. We need to do this expeditiously because the comptroller has said if we want to collect these dollars from Uber and Lyft, he needs 120 days in order to get his house in order and then for us to be able, for them to be able to collect the dollars and send the dollars back to us. This bill effectuates that purpose by basically saying we will have the dollars for the disabled. We've expanded the scope to include two other communities that are not well served today, our senior community and our low income community. And so these funds will be prioritized for that purpose, for purposes of the disabled vehicle, for access accessible vehicles, recognizing that purchasing these new accessible vehicles costs more. We're saying, dollars ought to be available for helping these people purchase these more expensive vehicles. That's explicit in this, that it is to help people pay down the costs of these new vehicles. So we've worked this out with our Department of Transportation. There are a number of senior transportation initiatives that the department will be looking at. We have a, a great service and senior connection. And imagine if we could use some of these dollars to allow for our seniors to get better served in a volunteer way, ways that Uber and Lyft don't have to serve. And so we can do that, and obviously for our call, our, our call and ride, for our low income. So very good public purposes, work closely with our Department of Transportation with respect to it, and I, I don't believe there's a lot of controversy or debate, and I hope not because we got a lot of work to get done before one o'clock. The clerk will call the roll. Mr. Elrich? Yes. Mr. Elrich votes yes. Mr. Hucker? Yes. Mr. Hucker votes yes. Mr. Berliner? Yes. Mr. Berliner votes yes. Mr. Rice? Yes. Mr. Rice votes yes. Mr. Reamer? Yes. Mr. Reamer votes yes. Ms. Navarro? Yes. Ms. Navarro votes yes. Mr. Katz? Yes. Mr. Katz votes yes. Ms. Florine? Yes. Ms. Florine votes yes. Mr. Leventhal? Mr. Leventhal votes yes, and Bill 3315 is agreed to by the County Council unanimously.